Hi everyone, oh. welcome back to the stream. Choose your own adventure. <laughs> oh, I went the opposite way, there we go. Choose your own adventure. Hi. Hi. This is part four of this series that Andrew is hosting us through. Um, what are we doing today, Andrew? So today we are gonna be continuing our story. If you've missed part one through four, that's fine. We're gonna spend the first few minutes of this stream recapping the story and how this stream works is I have written part of a story and you get to fill in the blank. We have a graphic. Fill, there it is, <laughs> fill in the blank. Uh, so we are going to be using those blanks to generate some companions to our story okay. using Adobe Firefly. Um, it's gonna be wild. All right. It's gonna be super fun. We will be working in Adobe Express today. Cool, okay, you're gonna read us the story for those of us yes. that haven't catched part one through three. Caught, catched, caught, 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 caught? yeah. Caught, <laughs> no, I can't say it. One through three, if you haven't seen part one through three, uh, we're gonna review the story that we created. Let's do it. Let's so, do it. let's hop over to my screen. What we're gonna do is we have this in Illustrator. This is where we have been working in the past, um, but, we are going to take this into Express today. We are migrating out of the Illustrator file that is 800 megs, by oh the way, <laughs> uh, into Express. So we're gonna file and then go to Save As, and we're just gonna export this as a PDF. So we're saving it as PDF for Story, and hit Replace right there. And I'm saving directly out of Illustrator into Express. Sorry, into PDF. Then we're gonna import this PDF into Express and it actually will keep all the text boxes, all the images, all the backgrounds, cool. everything. Yeah. And right. just while you're doing that, everyone, we are live and this is an interactive stream. So make sure you're participating in the chat. We have Behance open, we have YouTube open. So wherever you are, chat with us, we're yes. here. And we may need to refresh our Behance stream. Uh, Unless I'm, unless someone is saying get well soon to me, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, can we, can we refresh? Thanks, thanks, Studio Manager. Um, all right, so we're gonna go here, and we are just going to click on Start from Your Content, and we're going to upload this PDF. We're gonna hit Open and watch what happens. It's going to convert all those pieces, and you can see there we have the Once Upon a Time, which yep. is where we're starting. That's good, um, and then we are going to convert all of these pieces in. Okay, question for you. Yes. Would in any situation you have saved this and to your libraries and then opened it up in Express that way? Yeah, we could have saved all the elements to the libraries very easily and then pulled them okay. into Express as well. Okay, but saving all the elements could have been a little bit more time consuming than just uploading the PDF. Yes, yes. so okay. we have our story here. You can see the PDF actually brought in all of our different pages, and I can come in and actually edit this text. Yeah. So it's brought in the fonts, everything is loaded in directly from Illu Illustrator into Express. Yeah. Um, we only have sparkling water in the office, and so <laughs> if I get like secret little burps on the stream, it's because I'm drinking sparkling water. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we're chaotic this morning, y'all. That's how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to do a little bit of fun. All right. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is, we are gonna animate some of this after the fact, but let's go ahead and bring some of these animations kind of starting to come in. So I'm gonna click on animation right here, and we're just gonna have these kind of bungee in. Mm, let's have them okay. rise. Okay. Yeah, sure. My favorite is spin. Oh, Just yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> Spin and Tumble are the two that I am, like, absolutely in love with. They are a little chaotic for a nice, sweet, yes. once upon a time story. Yes. I do love them. So let's go ahead and open up the timeline here. And if I wanted to, uh, what I can do is I can actually add in a scene. So we're going to add a scene here. And what I want to do, this is going to get a little bit wonky, is I need to just, I'm going to, mm, Hello? Are you trying to copy and paste? Pause. Yes, I'm trying to copy and paste from one side to the other. Okay. Is the idea that you want them to flow together? Yes, the idea yes. is that I want them to flow together. All right. Okay, here's We're what live. I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> here is what I am going to do. We are going to make a video, and then we are going to keep adding to it. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and mm, what do I want to do here? Let's redo the story and then we can keep building on the pages. Let's do that. Okay, so let's read the story just through say. so we can get the ideas and then we can keep going. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, chat, are you ready? Yes. Oh wait, hold on, let me, let me go here. Okay, here we go. 
Once upon a time, there was a super snail that lived in an ancient labyrinth. They didn't know yet, but they were almost ready for a big adventure. While they enjoyed their hexagonal iridescent banana split ice cream sundae with a hot dog with sprinkles, suddenly there was a knock at the door. It was none other than the wombat salesman wearing Egyptian jewelry that lived in the swamp next door. So, this is going to give you an guy. idea of, yeah, this guy. This guy's probably my favorite, besides the Rat Queen, but we're not at the Rat Queen yet. Uh, so, this is going to give you an idea of what we're doing on the stream. Did any of those things feel a little bit weird to you? Yeah, everything. Yes, everything <laughs> felt weird. So, that is what we are doing here on Fill in the Blank for this stream. You can tell the weird things are things that you have filled in, right? I write the story and say, hey, while they enjoyed their special treat and then you filled in special treat with hexagonal iridescent banana split ice cream sundae with a hot dog and sprinkles so it's gonna get crazy all right continuing the story the rule of the land had issued a decree and all creatures were being called to a lava foam parade in the center of town our creature was excited and ready to find the perfect outfit they ran to the closet and put on their tutu bright neon shirt and sunglasses with a top hat and it was time for a celebration well, with their best dressed, our heroes set out into the dark forest with a happy heart and an adventurous spirit. They didn't know that lurking in the shadows was Kronos, an evil alpaca with red eyes and a gold necklace. Uh, this also is my favorite villain that we've done so far. Yeah, wow, he's cute. Right? <laughs> Suddenly from behind them, Kronos appeared and conjured up an army of squirrels that attacked our hero with salt and cuteness. Thank you for that one, chat. <laughs> Our hero grabbed their candy cane sword and fought with all their mights to break through the light at the end of the path. Swish, smash, sling, swoosh. Kronos was vanquished and the path was clear. Wait, can I just stop you there yes. and talk about how amazing that this is? That that llama looks, or alpaca looks just like the last one? Yes. It's crazy. Yes, and I think that it actually is a variation. So again, when you use okay. Adobe Firefly, it will give you four variations. And I think when we were creating this, we actually took multiple variations because they look similar so that we could use Use it in different places. Yes, love. Right? Okay. Continue. Really fun. I also like the extra llamas that have popped up. <laughs> Once they arrived at the festival, it was time for a snack. Our hero found the perfect cart and ordered a slime hot dog with a side of mushrooms to recover from the battle. My favorite. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> As they were enjoying their snack, suddenly a bright light flashed and a portal opened, sucking our hero into a haze of light and smoke. As the portal came to a close, our hero found themselves standing over a breathtaking view. As far as the eye could see was a bioluminescent ocean landscape with islands, organic vines, and forest views from a cliff with small rabbits, magical fog, and glittering butterflies. Y'all went off on that prompt. <laughs> Suddenly, I love this guy too. Suddenly from seemingly nowhere, a buzzard in, gosh, chat, a buzzard in a blizzard with lizard scales dressed as a wizard appeared and said to return back home, follow the call. And their name was Ozzy. Uh, our hero sorry. knew this meant that they would have to explore the land and find their way home. That is too good. It's that good, right? It's so good. <laughs> Jack came up with that one and I it killed me for the entire stream that we did that. I think that was in part two. Uh, in the distance, there was a blue tower made of gelatin with robot bees with glowing, with blue vines glowing in a gorgeous landscape. Our hero slowly trudged over the icy landscape and arrived at the gates of the tower. The intricate golden blue curved gates with heavy brass doors covered in ice were guarded by grand exalted hedgehog guards, guardsmen in beautiful uniforms and heavily decorated with medals. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Solve the riddle to gain your entry, the guard said. Our hero yelled, footsteps, correct, and, and enter. And chat, you did a great job at, um, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, Diane, yeah. <laughs> Diane, so if you're just joining us, what we're doing today is we are doing a stream that is fill in the blank. We're creating a story um, as you fill in the blank. So we're recapping where we are in the story so you can have some context, and then we will be filling in together and creating some graphics and some generations using Firefly to kind of pull it all yeah. together. And use this as inspiration. We're going to ask you yes. for your input. So you better start thinking about things based on this story that we're yes. showing. So we enter. We're in this golden chamber, as you can see here. Our hero entered a long blue icy hallway with golden lacy domed ceilings and a throne in the distance. Mm -hmm. On the throne, my favorite queen, on the throne was the mole rat queen on an extremely elaborate and ornate throne with gold necklace and golden drape. She said, begin the trial. And suddenly our hero is surrounded by meerkats with slingshots wearing blue and gold icy armor, and they fought to complete the gauntlet. Um, I love these generations as well. Great job, Chad. So, 
Here is where we leave off our hero and where we start our story. The gauntlet was a water balloon fight in an icy nice. blue room in a castle with meerkats in gold armor and throwing magical water balloons. Our hero was victorious, and once the foes were vanquished, a prize or trophy was lowered for the ceiling. And whenever you see those little brackets, what does that mean? It means fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. I'm not even close. There we go. We'll point this way. It's time for you, chat, to fill in the blank. So we are looking here for a prize or trophy. And someone's saying, I want to see the Rat Queen. Uh, okay. She's right here. <laughs> she's she's iconic. Look at her. Look at her on her throne. Iconic. Um, so we do need you to fill in the blank here, chat. What is the prize or trophy that we are going to be creating here in this generation? We're gonna use Adobe Firefly to really pull this together. Um, and we may even use Photoshop to break things apart and mm. do some motion. Cool. All right, so we are live on the Behance chat. We're live on YouTube chat. So wherever you are, drop in your idea for a prize or trophy. While people are doing that, there was a question in the YouTube chat from Raven yes. asking if you do use Adobe Firefly for commercial purposes, is there a risk of producing an image that violates copyright? No, absolutely not. So Adobe Firefly is trained on Adobe stock and it is trained to be commercially friendly. Uh, doesn't know what any intellectual property is, right? So if you say, hey, generate Mario, it doesn't even know what Mario is. Doesn't know Mario, we don't know him, he doesn't even go here. Um, and so, so when he says Hot Cheetos, actually, that's a great example. Uh, Hot Cheetos is a great example, not commercially friendly, because Cheetos is a brand. Um, we do, could do some kind of chips uh, chat. Any other suggestions for what we should put in as the prize or trophy? Um, we Paco could do like said a, a goblet of cheese. We could do like a goblet of cheese with Oh, with chips, chips like a there. nacho, it's like yeah. a super nacho prize trophy goblet. Let's do that. So all we need to do is we can come into text to image. So we're gonna click on media here and do text to image. And I do wanna do a portrait, which is three by four. And we want to say um, maybe a golden goblet um, filled with cheese and chips. <laughs> Can the cheese be brie? Yes. Absolutely, on fire. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if it says brie cheese. Is it B-R-I-E? Yep. All right. So we are going to do, uh, let's do photo here to try to make it photorealistic. And then I also like to add in photorealistic. Okay. Something that I'm realizing with, uh, filled with brie cheese. And chips on fire. So uh, between your different pieces, you want to put commas. And that just helps mm. uh, Firefly understand a little bit better. So here we go. Let's generate the nacho goblet. I'm excited. Oh, actually, I need to put it into the prompt. Oh. oh OK. A flaming brie. <laughs> yes. Wait, that fourth one, maybe. OK, so we click here. Let's pull this up so we can see a little bit. Looks kind of like a fish. It does look like a fish. It looks like it's just like a piece of tilapia, <laughs> some cheesy tilapia. Gross. <laughs> oh, honestly? All right, chat. So this is where you get to pick. Do we want number one? Mm, that's pretty good. Number two? Eh. Number three? Ah. Oh. <laughs> or number four, fish. Let yep. us know which one we like. And I'm going to put it in the chat or in the uh, prompt. Number three it could be like a commercial for our brie chips. For sure. It's very true. Oh, we got to vote for number one. We've got to vote for number three. All three. Right. Sydney says three. So because we did come over with a um, PDF, we can actually just edit this text. So I'm just going to copy and paste our prompt that we used. And if I want to get it back, I can click here and go to text image and it will show me what is going on with the text image. So yes, three is, three the, is the winner, winner here. I totally agree. So our heroes victorious. And once I the foes were vanquished. One. What? You're on one. I'm, I'm so sorry, chat. <laughs> Ruining I'm, our story. I'm so sorry. There we go. There it is. All right. There she is. Uh, so once our foes were vanquished, a golden goblet filled with brie cheese and ships on fire was lowered from the ceiling to be claimed by our hero. Now, we're going to add a little bit of extra fun in this. Uh, we are going to use Adobe Express to put some video on top Ooh, of this. Okay. And we haven't really done this before, um, so we're going to explore and see what happens. Um, we're going to go over to media and I'm going to type in like flames on black background. 
And I want to do videos. In the video, yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Slow-mo. Oh, is this an explosion? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I want something that doesn't cut off at the top. Uh, and so I'm just... Yeah, we're probably just going to use this one. Uh, so what I can do is I can actually come in here and we are just going to overlay this over our image. And I want to put it kind of in the center here of our image. And then we're going to change the blending mode to screen. And that's going to get a rid of all of the black part of that so that only the lighter part show through. So here we go. Here's our fire. Ooh. Yes. Oh no, where do we go, fire? Fire! You might have to extend it. Come back to me, fire. Let's check out the layer timing and see. The video's there, let me refresh real quick. Fire! <laughs> All right, we are refreshed. Let's go ahead and play and see what happens. There it is. Cute. Cool. Oh, super cool. Right? So this is a really great way if you're trying to like do something like this, tell a story, yeah. even if it's just concepting, this is a really great way to bring your concepts together using Adobe Express, generating things with Adobe Firefly, and then overlaying some video. Yeah. Uh, and if I wanted to here, let's go ahead and bring in the headphones. Okay. Uh, we are going to add some music to this clip. So our story is going to be really boring before this because I don't really want to go back and do all of it. Maybe I will uh, on the off time and post in Discord or something. But uh, we are going to add some music to this one and then also a voiceover. So exciting. So let's go to media and I'm going to do audio and we're just going to type in epic. So let's see what happens here. That might be it. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, it, that's right it. there. That's yeah, the, that's the winning music. So I'm going to click that, and it will pull it all the way in. Right now it's at 21 seconds. We don't want that much, because that's it's just setting to the uh, size of the fire clip. So we don't want it that long. Um, we could leave it for 19. Let's see how long the voiceover is. So I'm going to come to the beginning, and here is where I'm going to record my voiceover. I'm going to click on voiceover right here. And here we go. Where, where is it recording from? Where do I need to be? Let's just come here. All right, here we go. Once our hero was victorious, and once the foes were vanquished, a golden goblet filled with brie cheese and chips on fire was lowered from the ceiling to be claimed from our hero. What is that voice? <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> I have never heard that before. <laughs> it just happened, and I'm like very into it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the volume of the music down because I know it's going to be too loud. And now I can actually pull this clip down so that the... Um, the voice over doesn't go too long. <laughs> All right, chat, let's see what happens on this. Here we go. Once our hero was victorious. Hold on, the music is too loud. Yeah. We need to pull the music down. Paco saying that petition to have you start your own podcast fantasy story. Yes. All yes. right, chat, here we go. <laughs> once our hero was victorious, and once the foes were vanquished, a golden goblet filled with brie cheese and chips on fire was lowered from the <laughs> ceiling to be claimed from our hero. All right, chat. This is this my is so fun. This is my favorite stream ever now. Okay, here we go. Moving on to our next page. So we have uh, that's gonna bug me if I keep it up there. Uh, <laughs> definitely downloading this audiobook. Yes, we can oh, post we this. Oh, we should. Yeah, yeah, full audio. I'll make audiobook of this and we can post it. Um, so next up, do you want to take this one while I take a drink? Let's read the next sure. part of the story. Sure. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. And for context, y'all, um, the hero that we yeah, are talking about. Yes, the hero right here. I don't believe we have named him uh, other than Super Snail. Uh, but it is a Super Snail. And currently the Super Snail is wearing, I believe we went to the party. Let's see here. And we put on a different outfit. Let me see what the outfit was. I think it's the sunglasses, right? That is, yes. Yeah. So we are currently wearing um, a... Choo-choo, bright neon shirt, and sunglasses with a top hat. So okay. what are we transforming into? We do need to keep the super, the super snail, but then we can play around with transforming into something else. Okay. First of all, I think that he is a Sam. 
I'm getting a Sam, Sam from him. I get Sam vibes too. But chat, you tell us. What Oscar. You think. I like Oscar. He does look like an one. Oscar. He's so cute. Samuel Oscar. He can be a two name star. Ooh, Samuel Oscar. Two name star. Um, so what is our hero transforming into? Super Saiyan snail. Yeah, that's exactly what my brain uh, is thinking. And maybe when we do the voiceover, we'll do a little like, ha! like a little power up. <laughs> um, so chat, okay. what are they transforming into? And this is actually one that I'm going to generate two things separately. Uh, we're going to generate our hero transforming okay. and the background because I know that I want to animate them mm. so that the uh, the hero can kind of like rise up from the mm. ground. Uh, so let's do the background first. Megan, what do you think the background is? All right. We have a flaming goblet of Cheetos it's or back. hot chips. Yes. Um, let's see. Maybe he is in a like a burst of color, um, like lightning Ooh, bursting out, yes, but okay. colorful lightning. Uh, burst of colorful lightning on a black background. Mm -hmm. Let's do black background. Uh, and someone's saying gold armor. So maybe we have like gold sparks flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and maybe we do, I think that's probably good yeah, for a background. So let's generate and see what happens here. We don't want this to be photorealistic. Um, we might though. Let's see what happens. We have a great suggestion in the YouTube chat from Raven. Ooh, what is it? French chinchilla. Yes. That's what he turns into. Yeah. Oh, these are great. Yes. This oh, is, this is this fantastic. Wow. Okay. This is fantastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep a couple of these and I'm going to add, oops. Oh no, 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 no. Can I copy and paste this? That's the question. So I'm going to try to duplicate this and then go to text to image and see if I can grab one of the other. Okay. We're going to have to regenerate. Go back That's to fine. the other one. Click. Oh, there. Oh, you're so right. Hold on. You're so right. I know. Adobe Express expert. <laughs> That's it. So because it is still live here on the first one, yeah. we could definitely take uh, the first one and just go boom here. And then we're going to reorder them. Because what I want to do is align these perfectly. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the top one into a uh, screen. And that way we have Ooh. we can put our hero in the middle Ooh. and then animate like it like coming out, cool. which is really cool. Okay, cool. So I think that's good. And someone we had it. What was the suggestion? French chinchilla. French but chinchilla. What else? Add. Let's add I something love, else. I love French chinchilla. Let's add. <laughs> yeah. Let's add some some extra things. Uh, Drop it in chat. Yes, I like that our hero is just becoming a completely different thing. Um, all right, so let's go here. We are going to do this one. Let's do portrait still. This okay. is going to be a uh, uh, French chinchilla. French chinchilla, is that right? Two L's. One L. One L. Right. Well, let's see what it does. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. Um. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Can you Google? Yes. Do a quick. So we're gonna do French chinchilla, and somebody said in gold armor. All right. Um, and maybe what kind of uh, weapon? With a cheese, bread Chim cheese stick Chilla. sword. Yes, I love that. Uh, with a baguette. Baguette. How do you spell baguette? B A G. <laughs> Another thing. Okay. You and it looks like we might have some buffering with the stream. Uh, Behance is saying, well, "It's okay. We'll be here. We're, we're generating stuff. We'll be here if uh, things get weird or come back. We'll be here, and I will have." hopefully another page done for you. And so it's like you're buffering and then you come back and you're like, there's a whole thing done. There's a voiceover. Okay. okay. B-A-G-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Baguette. Did you get chinchilla? I did get chinchilla. Cool. All right. So I probably need to put this on a black background. So let's see what happens. It's probably going to put it in Paris. I hope A yes. cheese knife spear. That's a great... <gasps> oh, look at this little cutie. <laughs> okay. This is definitely where I want to go. Let's try cheese knife spear and see what happens. Okay. I'm just actually going to do cheese knife and that can be like our weapon. Oh, chat. You don't know this because you're not in the studio chat, but our studio manager is setting up camera too, which means it's about to get really intense. <laughs> that might be my voiceover camera. All right, here we go. Here's our little man. Oh, I liked the other guy better. Okay. Oh, wait, that guy's cute. 
Okay, hold on. Look at his cheese knife, and then he's got little charcuterie. He's holding, like, cheese and walnuts. So cute. Okay, that, I, I really like that Okay, so this guy is iconic, yeah. obviously. Um, so let's go ahead, and let's look at the last one, just because. Nah. No. <laughs> this guy's iconic. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to uh, remove the background on this guy. Okay. So we're going to click here to remove background, and Express is going to do a pretty good job. All right, didn't do crazy, but what I can do is I can actually just copy and paste this guy directly into Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to copy and then open up Photoshop. Not that one. Oh, look, Photoshop's open. Okay. Can I not copy and paste this little man? All right, let's do this. Let's go. Um, do, 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 do. Let's add to Brander Library, and I'll just add him to a library. So this is a great way. If something's not working, if you can't uh, pull it from one place to another, I can just put it into a brand, uh, and let's put it into brand. Okay. And this is what we were talking about earlier, where you could download it as from Illustrator into a PDF and then bring it over to Express, or you can save it to your library, and it makes it easy to work cross-app. Um, with these different elements. Yep, and you can see now I am over in um, Photoshop, and I'm going to find them right there, and I just double click, and it's going to open that asset Perfect. that is uh, now in a library. What's cool is, I think, hold on, uh, when I update here, I think that it's going to uh, push into Adobe Express. And a question for you in chat, Megan, that you can answer. Sure. Oh. <laughs> By Carol. Sorry. I just, uh, sorry. I, I did a point. Uh, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. We don't need the beta now. Yeah. Correct. It is out of beta. Firefly is out of beta uh, and now generally available. You can see when we go back to the story, uh, you'll see some of the images that Andrew generated before in part one through three of the series. There is a little bit of a watermark at the bottom um, of the picture. And now you can see that this one that we generated today doesn't have the watermark. So, that's how you can tell that it is out of beta yep. uh, and now ready for commercial use. Cool. So I got a pretty good selection on him. Yeah, I think that's a good selection. There's a little piece of what is happening. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's a crumb on my screen and I thought it was a pixel. Hold on, let me erase that. All right, we got it. <laughs> we got it, chat. I thought I had a bad mask, but it was just a crumb on my screen. Uh, thanks, Wendy's. Okay. So let's. Uh, Let's just save this. So I think yeah. if I save this, it's going to bring it back into the library. Um, let's see what happens. It is not linked, but that's fine because I can just go into my libraries now, go into your stuff, brands and libraries, and you can see that it will update right here. There's our little man. So super easy. And if I wanted to, let's say that I wanted to up the like contrast, or maybe I want, yes, oh, this is gonna be so good. Uh, maybe I don't like what's happening around his ears, this little piece. Yeah. Uh, I can actually come back into Photoshop, and because I am in the actual piece right here of the um, uh, library object, I can actually just mask out the rest of that ear that I don't like. Look how detailed the inside of his ear is. I know. <laughs> it's so random, but very impressive. All right, so I'm just masking out a bit more of this ear that I don't really want. And let's do the other side. And I'm just using a uh, opacity mask right here. Okay. Sorry, clipping mask is the word that I wanted there. There we go. All right, so I don't have to update anything. I can literally save right here. And then when I close it, it's going to update in Adobe Express. So we'll give it like, I don't know, five seconds. Of silence. Generate. It's going. It's sinking. It's fixed in our library. It's sinking through the, there oh, we there go. There we go. She just needed time to think. Yep. So we click update and the ears are three, two, one, gone. Nope. There it is. There we go. Yep. Okay. So uh, he is now linked through all of the things. I also love that our hero has transformed. So we were going to pull this down. Yes. And so now you can see that we're getting that awesome kind of like explosion effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flicker, do an animation, and we are going to go in. We are going to go flicker. Yeah. So cool. cool. So that's going to flicker in, which is going to be really cool. We also are going to add uh, 
maybe our hero is going to grow in. Then we'll have it like shh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the, it goes blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go in, and we are going to grow. We're gonna have that happen very slowly. Let's go over two seconds. And let's do smooth. And then I do wanna grab our little explosion, and I'm going to have that happen a little bit later in the scene. Cool, I was gonna ask. This is so cool how easily you can move around these aspects. Right. Um, just to give your illustration or whatever you're working on a little bit more flair. Yep, and then here I'm gonna do, um, do we want like maybe like lightning crash or something? Sure, let's try it. Get our earphones back. <laughs> let's hear it. Uh, let's do lightning. Oh wait, these oh, videos like don't that have one. sound. No, these videos don't have sound. We're not there yet. <laughs> not there yet. Um, Ooh. I'm trying to find one that might be good. Actually, yeah, I was gonna say, what about this like little swirl thing? I like the swirl thing. Okay, I'm not mad about the swirl thing. It is the wrong orientation, which kind of bugs me. I think you can spin it, right? You know, I thought you could. But you can't. And then I like haven't figured, like at one point I think you could, but then yeah. I can't figure out how to make it do that anymore. Huh. Oh, but you can crop it. I actually didn't, I always do it wrong. I can crop it okay. into this space. Okay, I've always done this wrong, chat. I'm discovering something with you. And you, if you double click on it, you can like move the video around. Oh my gosh, Adobe Express expert. Right. And look, you can crop it into all these different shapes and stuff? Yeah. Wow. Thanks, cool. Megan. All right, so we are going to change the blend mode to screen. I'm gonna take the opacity like way down yeah. and then see what that looks like. Oh. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna have this animate out a little bit faster. So I'm gonna have it animate out and we're gonna have it just, uh, let's have it shrink out. Mm, I need something that's going to, no. We might have it just fade out. Yeah, let's have it fade out. Uh, and we're going to have it fade out a little bit earlier, right we're there. We're still looking at the video that we just um, used from like the stock video, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have it fade out earlier because I want the crashes to happen Right. after that. So swoop in, yeah. Cool. All right, the crashes need yeah. to be a little bit later. So I'm just gonna pull this over by a little bit, right there. Mm, sure, okay, so now let's do our voiceover and our music. Cool. Um, let's do media, all right, headphones, chat, here we go. All right, so let's go to audio, and maybe here I want to do like crash and see what happens. Maybe we do like, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Try like lightning crash or something. Power up. It doesn't have a lot of sound effects in. It has like mostly music. Okay. So let's just do epic and see. <laughs> that, yes, that's so wrong, but it's so right. We're doing that. All right, chat, I'm gonna take that volume. He, he's just like, what's up? Okay, so let's go back and let's do our voiceover. Here we go. I think I need to get closer this time. Here we go. Oh wait, hold on, I never filled in the blank. Okay, so transformed into a... Uh, what did we say? French chinchilla. Yes. French chinchilla uh, holding... Oh, in gold armor. In gold armor with a uh, cheese, cheese knife. knife. Yep. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to extend this just a little bit, and then I'm going to actually pull this one down just because it's bothering me. All right, voiceover time. Here we go, chat. Let's V-O. Here we go. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a French chinchilla in gold armor with a cheese knife. The power's flowing. Oh, it's not long enough. All right, so what we're going to do is I need to extend this scene a little bit, and I'm just going to pull this scene and give us 15 seconds. Uh, it also is still recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me delete that. Hold on, that's bad. Here we go. So we've got like nine seconds now, and it added another layer because my voiceover went over, so I can just delete this scene. All right, so let's start one more time. I think 10 seconds is enough. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a French chinchilla in a gold armor with a cheese knife. The power was flowing through him, and our hero had never felt more powerful. Cool. 
All right, here we go, chat. Let's watch our animation and our page. Here we go. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a French chinchilla and a gold armor with a cheese knife. The power is flowing through him, and our hero had never felt more powerful. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Uh, I do need this to animate out as well, so we're going to have it flicker out as well, and that way it can kind of flicker in and flicker out and leave our hero. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a French chinchilla and a gold armor with a cheese knife. The power is flowing through him, and our hero had never felt more. Ooh, I need it to flash out faster, I think. Just like a really quick flash in, flash oh, out. Okay, like a little light. The prize, yep. Transforming into a French chinchilla and a gold yep, right there. Armor cool. With a Move it and up. you get a good look at him too. Yeah, and then we get to like appreciate the magnificence. Our hero reached out and touched the prize, transforming into a French chinchilla. That's it. That's it. Okay, cool. Great. Love that. Um, and I do think actually, I'm going to experiment with this real quick. I think that some of the videos do have sound. So okay. I'm going to do thunder and see what comes up here um, if we have anything that has sound. So let's play and see. The volume is up. Let's see what happens. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. I don't think a lot of them have sounds. Oh, I think that it's if you record your own video. Yes. Yes. Definitely you can bring in sound when it's your own video. I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> um... I always know something crazy is gonna happen. I know <laughs> it's not okay. Can we go to our headshots and you can make some announcements about what is coming up uh, next? And I'm gonna try sure. something over here. Uh, do we have the schedule for the rest of the day? Do we have the schedule for the rest of the day? That's, I can tell. No. You what's okay, to we come. don't have the schedule for the rest of the day. Let's cut back to our headshots uh, and off my screen, and Megan can talk about uh, the video yeah. that are coming up later today. Yeah, let me take these headphones off. I know the, my ears get so hot. <laughs> I don't like hearing myself so in my ears like that. Um, well, the rest of the day after the stream with Andrew and I, we will be hosting a very special video um, event. In this video event, we have industry all-stars that are coming to talk about what's new in Premiere Pro, After Effects, all kinds of different video updates. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> We're, I think so. All right. Let's go back. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to record um, a, video, a video, but it is going to be only for the um, only for the sound effects, and then okay. we're going to put it into Express, okay. and I'm just going to like put the opacity at zero and see if the sound effects will just play. All right. So let's see if it does this. I don't know what's going to happen. Here we go. I can't, I'm, just, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. We're going to save this real quick, and I'm just going to save this as like crash and see what happens. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. No, no. Hold on, chat. We got it. We got it. Um, I want screen recording. Is it currently doing a screen recording? It is. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 We got it. We got it, chat. We got it. Here we go. We are going to do new screen recording. Um, I do want to record with audio. Microphone right there. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to save this and then drag and drop into Adobe Express. Um, so we're going to do crowd. Gosh, those sound effects killed me. This is like one of those things that you really have to play around with the product to see all of the fun things that you can do with it. Yes. I would have never thought to do what you just did. Right? Um, <laughs> where's my desktop? Why can I not get to the desktop? Um, We're seeing in chat on YouTube that you ha we have a great sound designer on our hands. It's me. It's, <laughs> it's me, the sound designer. You're going to get some crazy podcast offers after this session. Yes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hold on one second. There we go. Desktop. All right. So let's see if this works. Chat, I'm like 3% confident in this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We yep. nix it. Okay. Vid video is there. Uh, it's right here. Okay. So it's there, which is great. I need to take the opacity to zero, and we're just going to use the volume. All right, chat. All right. 
If this works, if this works, I feel like I am a pioneer of Adobe <laughs> Express. Here we go. <laughs> yes, yes, it worked. Oh, <laughs> chat, the possibilities that we have just unlocked oh are gosh. infinite. This story is going to be chaotic. All right, here we go. Check it out. A hero reached out and touched his eyes, transforming into a <laughs> French chinchilla in gold armor with a cheese. <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Okay. We're doing the whole the whole story, you know. Right? The whole story is gonna have sound effects <laughs> yeah. now. Uh, hold on, actually, let's just do this. Let's go back here, and this is gonna be. Um, let's okay. Let's do this. Let's do one more, and we're gonna do some fire. Uh, let's do. What some... is the sound you're gonna make for fire? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. The sound effects. The sound effects sound more real. I agree. All right, so we're gonna do. Um, oh no, wait, I don't want movie record. Ah! <laughs> Jump scare. Actually, sure, why not? We'll do this. Okay, here we go. Wait, what if I just tap? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's stop this. Okay, what if I just like tap? Do I have any crinkly things? Do we have any paper or anything? What about these keys? Yeah, give me the keys. Okay. Okay. Here we go, chat. This is gonna be our, our fire. It's gonna be like a metallic fire. Okay, fire, screen recording. We do want that. Okay, here we go. All right. Chai is gassing you up about these about these sound effects, saying that they're so realistic. Honestly, I don't know, guys. Uh, okay, calm down. Uh, all, right. all right, fire. Let's see this metallic fire. Here we go. It feels right for like what this is. Yeah. No, actually, that was great. The keys, great call. Okay, you can't backtrack now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the opacity down to zero, and then it should. Once our hero was victorious. And okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, did it go? I don't have my earphones on. Play it again. It's not wrong, but it's not right. Uh, that's not gonna help us with any volume, effects, animation. Okay, none of that is going to help us. So here we go. Once our hero was victorious, and once the foes were vanquished, a golden it. goblet filled with brie cheese and chips on fire was- Like, it's subtle. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's, it's subtle. Yes, it's and not I like bad, it. yeah. Uh, but the right hand side is a set of buttons. You press them to you know read on the page. You know what Penny's talking about? Like those little books. Oh yes. That used to have like the interactive. Yes, and it's like the cow goes moo, and then you push moo. the cow, and it's like <laughs> moo. All right, chat. Continuing on with our story, uh, and actually, this is a long stream, which is going to be really fun. Um, we are on until for the next like forty-five 40 minutes, minutes or so. Yeah, we've um, got lots of story to tell. But after that what is coming up with our schedule for yes. the rest of the day. We have a very, very special video day for you with all kinds of new stuff. Megan, take it away. Here is our schedule for the rest of the day. At 10.30, we have a what's new in video where we'll give an overview of everything that's been announced. Uh, and then we get into the weeds with everything that's going on um, from Roto Brush 3, text-based editing, and true 3D. And then we end the day again with Andrew and Nick for Office Hours. Yes, and if you want to join Office Hours, we're talking about Adobe Max. Uh, and we actually are doing some branding promo for the Max Bash. Um, so if you want to join us, design some stuff for Max, get hyped, learn a little bit about it. Uh, you can check that out. And it's funny because we did record it uh, yesterday, and then today they announced who's doing the Max Bash. Did you what? see who's doing it? What? No. Rev Run. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. Rev Run of Run DMC. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, so oh, Rev Run is going to be fun. doing the Max Bash, which will be really, really fun. So fun. Uh, if you're not registered for, registered for Max, you can go to max.adobe.com, get registered for free, watch online, register for my sessions selfishly. I just want you there. Um, <laughs> and we're going to have a whole community booth at the community in the community pavilion. Yes. So if you are going to Max, make sure you stop by and see us. We'll be streaming live there, and we'll have the whole community team um, to meet you guys. We want to. Yep. All right, so we're back with my queen, our queen, the queen of this story, we are still here and guess what? The rat queen has something to say. So the rat queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, who is now a chinchilla, telling them, I've heard a call from the west. Travel through the exotic location and pass the test. Then you'll return home and finish your quest. Ooh. Ooh she's Remy. Following the call. <laughs> look at She's Remy. Remy. She, oh, Remy. I thought you said Remy. She's like, a poet. Okay, she's a poet, yes. Uh, so we are following the call. Remember the wizard in a blizzard with lizard scales uh, mm -hmm. was telling us that we needed to follow the call. So here we are. Yep. We've heard the call now. It is in the west, but 
what does this ex exotic location look like? Let's do a big landscape here, chat. Okay. Give us some suggestions and things uh, that we can fill in the blank. Dang it, fill in the blank. <laughs> I've heard a call from the West, travel through the exotic location and pass the test. What is our exotic location? What is the exotic location? And what are the sound effects that we're gonna end up using for it? Oh gosh, <laughs> some like bird chirpy. Oh yeah. Can you do that? Uh, okay. Oh gosh. Camera, B cam, knew? please. Who B knew cam, please. this about Andrew? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. This is the birds. Actually, okay. Should we save it for the? Should we do it as a surprise? No, I want to hear it right now. All right, I can't here wait. we go. I can't wait. You ready? You yeah. ready, chat? I'm so good at this. Here we go. This is an owl. <laughs> this is a pigeon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where did you learn that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Being homeschooled. <laughs> hey, you were homeschooled. I was homeschooled. I'm a homeschooled oh, kid. Interesting. All right. So, chat, we need somebody saying a sky mall. I actually don't. Ooh, I'm not mad fun. about that. That's kind of fun. Yeah, okay. let's do something like that because usually we do like the landscape, but that could be interesting. Yes, let's I think. Let's see what it has to ooh, say. Ooh, a sky mall in the West. Mm, from where I know we're going, sky mall is probably not the best option, okay. actually. <laughs> um, let's do. Do we have anything from. Awesome. Let's thank see. you. Sorry, I derailed us from getting suggestions with my bird calls. <laughs> chat, we need suggestions eagle's of a place nest? we're going. We've got an eagle's nest in YouTube's chat. Okay, that's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We could do we could do Sky Mall and Eagle's Nest. Okay. Uh, We're gonna have to twist Patagonia? the story a little bit, but that's fine. Patagonia. Okay. Vibing with you two. Just spilled my coffee all over myself. <laughs> I have coffee here that I have taken one drink of. So same. Cheers. You're there. Cheers, everyone. Okay. So let's do let's do um maybe a catacombs. I liked the Columbia, idea. Columbia. Columbia. A diner. <laughs> New Zealand. Queenstown. <laughs> Queenstown. Okay. So let's do the mall. Let's do like a um. Like a mall food court, okay, but like in the <laughs> sky. So like we'll eventually end up in the food court, but we're gonna go like into the sky. So let's do okay. <laughs> oh, chat, this is gonna be wild. Okay, photos, text image. Here we go. Um, Our studio manager over here is cracking up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's do a um, a mall building building a mall in building. an eagle's nest. Okay. <laughs> Uh, floating on clouds in the sky. Does that satiate everyone? Yeah. Let's see what happens. And let's do fantasy, just 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 because we okay. probably need it. Let's scale this up as it renders. All right, chat. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. CJ also recommended. <laughs> yes, honestly. Oh, that is so good. Okay, one, there's two, there's three, and four. Uh, it has to be four, It right? has to be, it has to be. Yeah. And, and somebody says, Andrew, I bet that you talk to chat even when you're not streaming. Yes. He does. I he does. Do. I've seen him do it. I, I do. And if, I, if I'm if i hosting a conference, like an in-person event, I still refer to the audience as chat. Yes, 100%. Okay. okay. I love this. This is rad. I love this. And I am actually going to use our hero um, from the other page in here. So we're going to have our hero here. And I'm going to copy control C and then paste our hero onto this scene. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna crop our hero a little bit. Um, so let's, oh, grumbly tumbly. You a little hungry? A little grumbly tumbly. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna erase kind of the bottom half of our friend. I'm so sorry. So we're gonna erase. <laughs> Annika's oh. saying that you distracted her cat with your owl sounds. Yes. That's how realistic they are. Yes. <laughs> I also learned, oh man, this is so, okay, I'm going to show you this trick real quick and then we'll talk about more stupid stuff. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to go to adjustments and I'm going to take the brightness all the way down, highlights down, take all of these all the way down, right? Contrast, super high, saturation all the way down. Uh, and we want to make it like as dark as we possibly can. And then I'm going to blur. So I'm going to kind of just blur this out. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. So this is gonna give us a nice shadow, and I'm gonna kind of okay. use this shadow, right, as maybe our hero is standing. We're kind of looking out uh, toward okay. this. Okay, did you do that earlier in one of the other pictures? I did. Yeah, okay. I did, and we actually did that I was in, um, how you got that. yeah, we did that in Photoshop. Okay. So we have this here, um, maybe we wanna do some clouds, and actually, because this isn't a great crop, um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? 
So we can copy and paste directly from Photoshop. And so what I'm going to do is I am just going to take our hero here and I'm going to control C to copy. And then I'm just going to do it in Photoshop because it's a little bit easier. So sometimes you do have to use different tools. Um, and I'm just going to fill this whole thing with black. Okay. So we just made a selection, filled it with black right there. And now we just have a nice outline of our hero that I can bring back and paste in. That is so nice, being able to work cross app like that. Yes. That fits better. Yep. So it fits a lot better. And then I'm going to go and we are going to go to uh, adjustments. There we go. And blur. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Make right? It, can you make it a little smaller? I know. I was going to say, it's, it's blocking too much. I want to see that sky ball. <laughs> see the sky ball. Um, oh, it blurred within the confines. It does that on the crop sometimes. Let's see if I pull this. No. Okay, so let's just do this in Photoshop. Okay. That's my answer here. Uh, we are going to expand this, and I don't want a generative expand. I just want to do transparent. So we're going to expand this out a little bit, and I don't want it to blur out the bottom there. So I'm going to do that. We're just going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur our buddy out a bit. There we go. Our buddy. Whose name is? Uh, Oscar, Sam, Samuel Oscar. Isn't that a famous person? Samuel Oscar? Oscar Samuel. Oscar Isaac? I don't know. Okay, Someone cool. tell us in the chat. That's, that's a little bit better. Person. And then let's add some clouds kind of uh, coming through. And wow, there's a lot of ats and waves happening. I know. Unicorn, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Um, so let's go ahead and add some clouds here with video. Um, let's do, oh man. Clouds on black background. Moving across. Oh, no, that's like a little too specific. I think. Yeah. And chat, I do things uh, on black background because it just helps me uh, blend it into the scene a little bit better. Hmm. Ooh, I'm not mad about. Ooh, actually, what is happening here? That's interesting. I don't love it. <laughs> uh, no. What about no. that one? Down one? This one? Down. What is that? No, it doesn't move very much. Let's do this one kind of coming in, and I'll actually slow it down. Actually, that might be fine. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to align this here, and then we're going to use these edges to kind of pull it out to the edges. And then again, we're just going to change the blending mode to screen. And let's play and see what that looks like. I don't love it. Mm. No. Could you take the opacity down a little bit? Yeah. It's cutting off our little eagle, man. What if you... Hmm. I feel like we need one that comes in from yeah, the side. Yeah, need, we need like a... I think this one maybe. Okay. Good thing there's so many options. I know. <laughs> uh, maybe this one is just like foggy. Okay. Okay, let's do that. This one's more just like fog. And then we will do eagle. We're just going to do a bunch of bird sounds, I think. Actually, I want to see if I can layer video sounds uh, and do a few of them. So oh we'll do gosh. a couple different birds. <laughs> All right, let's play this one. I like how it's really subtle. I can't even see it. Moving. Okay. It's really subtle. Oh, I, I saw it. Okay, yes. okay. Very, very subtle. That's all we need. That's all we need. Just a little, just a little touch there. Uh, and someone's saying behind. Uh, maybe we do... Mm, Behind the little guy? Is that what he means? Yeah. I think it should be over him. Yeah, I agree. Let's leave it there for now because okay. we want to keep going on the story. And the exotic location is uh, through the... Sky mall. Sky ball. <laughs> Eagle's nest. I can't. Okay, cool. Oh, and it rhymes. Sky mall. Sky mall eagle's nest and pass the test for the Ooh, quest five. from the west. Good work, chat. All right, here we go. Let's do the voiceover real quick. Um, let's do the music. And I think the, the music will do like peaceful. Let's do media. Let's go to audio and let's do peaceful. That makes me want to go. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. What about like wind chimes? Ooh, I like chimes. I know you said that they don't have a ton of sound effects, but maybe let's try. Let's chimes. No. no. Let's do wind. Oh, wind in Ooh. the air. There we go. 
What? Nope. How is that wind in the air? Wait, 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 French. wait, wait. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I have to, I have to change it. All right, this gets so much better. Are you reached out to Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, I do need to tape the volume down, but that definitely is what this needs Yeah, because to. he doesn't look super French, but this makes him look French. Sound French. Yes, okay, yeah. cool. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and, sorry, keep finding ones for here. Uh, maybe we're on the right track with the peaceful. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Oh. That's a good one. All right, cool. So I'm going to extend this clip a little bit, and then we are going to do some voiceover. Here we go. Oh, I need to go to voiceover. Here we go. <laughs> the Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the West. Travel through the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest and pass the test. There's not enough time. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> I can just keep going and extend the clip. It'll extend it for me. Okay. <laughs> We're I'm fired, chat. Here we go. Let's delete that scene. I'm gonna extend this. I ran out of time. Here we go. All right, start recording. The Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the West, travel through the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest, and pass the test. Then you'll return to your home and finish your quest. Got it. One that take, voice, baby. That voice. Two takes. Oh, sh 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 sh. <laughs> Got to keep this. you honest. Let me have this. <laughs> All right. So our music is not long enough, but that's fine because I think that I can just add it back again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if it says that it's a loop. So we're going to see what happens here. If I add in another loop right here, then just pull it over and see if that will loop. All right, chat, here we go. I probably need to bring the volume down 50% or so, and then we'll add in our sound effects. All right, 50%, there we go. Let's try it. The Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the West, travel through the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest and pass the test. Then you'll return to your home and finish your quest. Cool. It does loop. That's great. Um, let's add in our sound effects now using, uh, I literally am just using. You're just uh, it, importing your own videos, yes. essentially. Yes. Okay. So let's do, oh boy. Let's do a couple different birds here. Uh, and we can layer, I'm going to see if we can layer as many as we can. Here we go. Uh, music is too loud. Okay. Yeah. I, I agree. We actually. can bring it down to like 25% yeah. or something. All right. Here we go. We're going to, I'm going to go pretty far away from the mic for this one. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, that one's great. You can't handle it. Can't there we go. It. So we're going to save this one, and this one's going to be Eagle. We need to have, like, a button that we press whenever we need, like, a little Andrew Bird call. A hundred percent. Chat's going to make a soundboard out of this. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, so now let's grab this one. Uh, opacity, 0%. Music is too loud still, so let's take it to 20%. Same thing here, 20%. And then play. The Rat Queen stood from the throne and walks down to our hero. It's, 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 it's so honestly good. perfect. It's I don't, so good. Yeah, volume can go to like 70 here. All right, let's do one more. Uh, this is, I'm actually curious to see if we can uh, layer. I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not. All right, here we go. This is going to be, do we want pigeons or do we want uh, eagles? I really liked or the pigeon. The pigeon? Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hold on, my lips aren't wet enough. One second. I don't know, it's pretty good. I need to take my headphones off so I can hear. Okay, here we go. He's getting serious. I'm getting serious. <laughs> uh, new screen. Uh, yes, okay. All right, here we go. Let's add in some sound effects. Oh, 
Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. <laughs> so this is going to be pigeon. Got it. Okay. Oliver's saying you need to make a bird app, a bird call app. <laughs> yes. I absolutely do. Okay. So this is going to go down opacity to zero. Let's leave the volume at like 80. And then I'm going to actually move this so it doesn't overlap the other one. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens here. The Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the West, travel through the sky mall. It worked. Okay. Oh, it's so good. Great. I love that. Jeff said crushed that pigeon. <laughs> yep. And I am going to duplicate it. And we're just going to pull it like further over here. Uh, the same thing with the eagles. This is so interesting. I've never done this workflow, and I think it's like kind of fun. Yeah. All right, so let's play and see what happens here. Here we go. The Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the West, travel through the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest, and pass the test. Then you'll return to your home and finish your quest. Too good. It's perfect. OK, crush the pigeon. I agree. Um, I can like call them to me sometimes when I'm out oh, on the streets, gosh. right? Like Cinderella, but oh, with pigeons. Oh, please, no. <laughs> All right, chat. So our hero walked back through the intricate gold blue curved gate with heavy brass doors covered in ice, which you told us about. Uh, and they turned to the west and set off on the journey. In the distance they saw, I think that this is the same, like, right? That they probably saw the same thing. I don't know. OK, actually, I know where we're going. We are about, I'll, I'll give you a hint at where the story is going, and okay. this will kind of inform. Yeah. So our hero walked back, and in the distance they saw, and then upon the journey, our hero ran into dangerous terrain with dangerous things. Okay. It could prove to be a challenge. Actually, let's delete this page, because we yeah. don't need it. We're editing here. Your, co or your copywriter yep. was like, no. No. <laughs> OK, so upon the journey, our hero ran into dangerous terrain with dangerous things. It could prove to be a challenge, but nothing that our hero wasn't powered up and ready for. Chinchilla with a cheese knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is the dangerous terrain chat? And what are the dangerous things in this dangerous terrain? <coughs> Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. What, what dangerous? So keep in mind. We are currently going into the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest. Right. After this, we will be coming back down uh, okay. from there. Actually, we'll be going to, we'll be going somewhere else. Uh, but where, where do we need to get through to get up to the Eagle's Nest, maybe? Are we climbing a mountain? Ooh. Are we on a glass elevator? What are we doing? And then let's visualize that and see what happens. Yes, and we need the dangerous thing. So it does need to be somewhere that can have dangerous things. Yes, which is weird because, oh, okay. Sharks with lasers on their heads? That's gonna be good for where we're going, maybe. Okay, we'll keep it in our minds. Ooh, rugged mountains with hungry dragons. Okay. I love that. She swamp with dangerous <laughs> cheddar. CJ is CJ. really on this cheese CJ's train hungry. this morning. <laughs> there we go, CJ is lactose tolerant this morning. <laughs> um, okay, rugged mountains with hungry dragons. Okay, I yeah. love that, Tim. Uh, and I'm, I might have them like, uh, with cheese. Let's see what happens. Okay, so let's go to media. We are going to go to photos, and then we're going to do text to image. We are going to do a portrait here, and then we want to do um, tall, rugged, snow covered mountains. Ooh, snow covered mountains uh, with dragons. And let's 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 say pointy cactuses. Cool. Or cacti. Spiky cacti. Spiky. Per S -P -I -K -E -Y? Oliver. S-P-I-K-E-Y? Sure. Nope, just Y. Cac cactuses? Ty. Cacti. Cacti. Did you know, camera two, uh, this <laughs> is, <laughs> so, okay, octopus. What's the plural of octopus? Octopi. Is not octopi. Oh. It is octopode. Uh, it is Greek, and Greek, when you pluralize, turn into octopodes. So if you are octopi, no. Octopode, yes. I'm right. really glad for that grammar lesson. There we go. <laughs> I, it felt like a camera two moment that we needed. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Did you put this. cacti? Yeah. C-A-C-T-I. Oh. Got it. All right, so I'm going to make this a little bit larger, and then we are going to generate to see what we come up with. The uh, prompt is tall, rugged, snow-covered mountains with cheese dragons and spiky cacti. That's right, CJ, I, I got really you. I really want to know what it says for cheese dragon. 
Okay, so here's something that I've learned about uh, Adobe Firefly. Ooh, that one's cool, but I see no dragons. I know. So what ha what I've what I've realized with uh, Adobe Firefly is sometimes if you have more than three subjects, okay, uh, it will start to mesh things together. So there is a dragon. He's just there, right there is. Yeah, we could oh, add a little dragon. one in yes. there too. Uh, right there. All right, I'm happy with it. I which one do we want? I chat? like that one. I like the one with the dragon. Yeah, we gotta have the little dragon. Yeah, none of the other ones have the dragon. So this one has at least a little dragon. Uh, so let's do the dragon, and I and I might actually put. Let's do the same composition of what Kronos the llama was, but with a dragon. <laughs> okay. So he's like face to face with a dragon. Okay. If so. you don't remember, you weren't here. Uh, one of our villains was a uh, alpaca. Yes. With red eyes. Um, he's really cute. Evil cute. Evil cute. Okay, so let's try to get that. So let's do um, a new text to image, and this one is going to be um, maybe like portrait, a uh, port portrait of a dragon covered in she's with blue eyes. Blue. All right. Chat, you're only very specific people are getting this reference. We're doing a blue eyes white dragon that's covered in cheese. Uh, all right, let's generate and see what happens. Also, if anyone gets a reference, please let me know in chat. That is a very specific niche audience. I feel like Wade might get it. Wade 100% <laughs> I think will get it. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, the third one? Oh. Wait. I like, okay, hold I on. I want to put him in my pocket. Yes, we've never said that this is an evil dragon. It could be a, a it could be a nice cute little dragon. That reminds me of my cat. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do um, let's do dripping cheese, and then maybe let's do a wide shot. That will help us kind okay. of uh, get him a little smaller. Separate, yeah. So because I don't want to get cut off on the edges. But I do love you. Goodbye. No, it's cute. I'll remember oh, you. Little baby blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> cheese dragon. That might be CJ this morning with this. Okay, actually, cheese. this one is going to crop well. Oh, so we're going to use this one, chat. He this doesn't is... have a bottom jaw. Yeah, because he's eating cheese. Okay. Hold on. Okay, this okay, one actually might one work too. Really funny. Okay, this one, this one might work too. Okay, let's do this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and remove the background and see if we can get just the dragon. All right, missed a couple pieces, but what we can do is we can go to Erase, yeah. and then from there we can uh, Restore, and I'm just going to restore in some of these pieces. And it does a really good job yeah, at picking does. these up. Um, I think that's pretty good. He's <laughs> so funny. Like. All right, great. So we might have to shrink it down a little bit maybe. Yeah. It's a lot. So I wish it wasn't cropped, but actually it won't really matter because of the way that his claws look. Um, all right, I am not mad about that. All right. <laughs> oh, so the dangerous terrain we had, what was the dangerous terrain prompt that we had? Tall, rugged mountains with spiky cacti. Uh, with a uh, <laughs> cheese eating dragon, blue eyes, white cheese eating, white dragon. dragon eating cheese. Uh, and what does the dragon say? Chat, we need the dragon to say something mostly because I want to voice over the dragon. <laughs> like, so, what does the dragon say to our hero? Uh, what is the <laughs> phrase? Give us a prompt. Uh, what is going to happen with the dragon? Uh, just the idea of doing a, a dragon eating cheese voice is everything that I want on this stream. Um, the dragon exclaimed. And it doesn't have to be anything changing to the story. Uh, cheese, cheese to see you. Yes. <laughs> cheese to meet you. All right, let's do that. Um, 
Sure. I like that it was supposed to be tumultuous, but we're like walking and the dragon is just like, hey, and then we can keep on going on our journey because we only have like 20 minutes left. We have like 15 minutes left, so that's perfect. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we Lunch go, chat. Lunch has just arrived. That's a good one too, Tim. Here we go. You've activated my trap card. Yes. That's the reference that I'm looking for. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, let's go to voiceover. Let's do voiceover first, just because it'll be the funnest. Uh, let's go to audio and then record voiceover. I'm, uh, I probably want this to be a little bit longer. Oh, and let's have him uh, animate in. So let's have him like fade in. Ooh, Ooh yes. That's so good. He's like a mysterious little dragon. Dra chat, what's his name? Or her name? What is the name of the dragon? Uh, let's do two, let's do soft, sounds good. All right, now let's add in some voiceover. Here we go. Beginning of the playhead. All right. Gertrude. Gertrude, absolutely. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait, I didn't do it right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, cheesed to meet you. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> cheesed to meet you. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Cheesed to meet you. I'm good. <laughs> Got it. Okay, gosh, my hands were just like in my mouth. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> media, let's do... Um, what music do we want here? I want like a like a walking song. Yeah. My happy walk. Okay. It's funny that this was supposed to be dangerous. No. Something no. like on the road again. Yeah, maybe let's do country. That's it. All right, and I'm. Oh man, this is this is already so unhinged. Uh, here's what I want to do is I want to come in here and I'm going to go to uh, text image and <laughs> we're going to do um, uh, cheese cowboy hat on a black background. All right. We don't have time for danger. <laughs> That's, that is so true. The stream doesn't have time for danger. Um, okay, so I need a... Oh. Wait, okay. what? Why are we so adding this? That's something, that's something that is interesting, too, about Firefly, is I think that it has trouble sometimes generating things that are other things. So, like, a fish that looks like a cloud, or, like, yeah. a hat that is made out of cheese. But what if you say cowboy hat made out of cheese? Like, okay, sometimes let's do it that. Yes. matters which word you put first yes. um, when you're generating these prompts. I feel like prompt generation is such a skill, like learning what words to use, where to put the commas, like you were mentioning earlier. Yes. Super important. And if you want to learn more about that skill, you can join my Adobe Max talk uh, that's all about that. <laughs> Search the catalog, shameless plug. For Andrew Hawk Rattle. That's it. Okay. Okay, this, the first one is this fine. She's had is not, uh, there's, this is, this is what I want. We're it's giving. A cheese, it's like four on top of each other. It's a stacked cheese hat, honestly, so iconic. Good. Okay, so we're gonna move the background Does on this. Does Gertrude have a cheese hat on? Yes. Oh, Gertrude. One hundred percent. It is a tiny cheese hat, though. Just a tiny little cheese hat. Okay, so Gertrude has a little cheese hat. We have our music. Uh, we have our sound effects. Oh wait, we need the cheese hat to it animate in as well. In. At right. the same time, ideally. Yes, and that was a. We did a fade, fade. in over yeah. two seconds, and that should be the same. Yes. Okay. So the at the beginning is too good, Andrew. It's it is too good. It's great. Do we want any video over this one, like the same structure? That no, we're doing? it's I don't think it's so. already a lot. Yeah, I feel like it's already a lot. Okay, here we go. Let's play and see what happens. All right, the music is so loud. I also need to read the story. We have a lot to do on this slide. We have still. a lot to do on this slide. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what's really great about this is this is so fun. But you also could use this in a practical setting if you're like making a um, if you're making like a presentation to show or whatever it might be. These skills are something that you can use. I mean, 
you might be making a story. And if yes. you do, please share it with us. Yes, but you absolutely. can also use this in like presentations and decks or whatever you might be using it for. All right, so let's go ahead and record the voice over here. Upon the journey, our hero ran into tall, rugged mountains with spiky cacti, with a blue-eyes white dragon eating cheese. It would prove to be a challenge, but nothing that our hero wasn't ready for. I ran out of time again. Okay. You oh, I can just extend just the going. scene. Yes. <laughs> Chat, you have to help me. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Gertrude. Oh, I need to wait until after she says, hello, I'm Gertrude. So we need this to be, like, a lot longer. I think you have to put the cheese to meet you at the end. Did you delete it? <gasps> Gertrude! It's okay. Read through everything. Wait. And then the dragon exclaims. Okay, hold on. Gertrude's right there. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Gertrude. Okay. So we are going <laughs> to extend this. This is going to be a long scene. Okay. Upon the journey, our hero no, you deleted Wait. Gertrude. No, no. No. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay, oh, okay. Gertrude's She's back. There. She's Gertrude's there. back. Okay. All right. We're going to extend this out. We're going to pull this all the way over, and that will give us enough time. Here we go. Voice over time. Once upon over the blah, blah, blah. All right. Hold on, <laughs> chat. Also, chat, if you've ever seen me run a promo or anything on social media that you see like an ad, this is the majority of it. It's like, hello, Luggins is nothing there. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Upon the journey, our hero ran into tall, rugged mountains with spiky cacti with a blue eyes white dragon eating cheese. It would prove to be a challenge, but nothing that our hero wasn't powered up and ready for. The dragon exclaimed, Cool. Okay, so now I can just move this over here. And then maybe our music needs to loop. So I'm going to duplicate that. And then I can pull it all the way back here. OK, let's play chat. Here we go. I don't know if the sound levels are going to be right, but we'll see what happens. Upon the journey, our hero ran. OK, the music is too loud. Uh, it's too loud at 20%. My goodness. Well, also my voice probably think, just yeah. isn't loud enough. Uh -huh. All right, here we go, chat. Upon the journey, our hero ran into tall, rugged mountains with spiky cacti with a blue-eyes white dragon eating cheese. It would prove to be a challenge, but nothing that our hero wasn't powered up and ready for. The dragon exclaimed... Hold on, hold on, the timing is off. I need to pull this back just a little bit. And then right here... Oops. Nope, there we go. Okay, here we go. Exclaimed... <laughs> It's perfection. <laughs> it's too good. It's perfection. Okay, chat. Um, we probably have time for one more page, which I think is our last page of the story. Of Look the whole timing. story? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Okay. The last page of this episode. This okay. Is, this is part four. I was like, I'm not ready. <laughs> this is part four. We're ready to go. So after crossing the dangerous terrain, our hero arrived at the edge of a cliff. Um, which I think that we were going to the mall in the sky and that kind of just went away. So maybe, uh, okay. No, we were at the mall in the sky. We passed the test, came back down to the mountain, and now we're on the cliff. We skipped over a few things here. Actually, well, hold on. Let's just change uh, after, after, let's change the story. It's fill in the blank. We can fill in whatever blank we want. After crossing the uh, dragon and finishing a cheese snack. Oh. Why not? It's important. Uh, our hero arrived at the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest. And chat, what happened once the uh, once our hero arrived there? What happens next? Fill in the blank. And that's going to give us kind of the, uh, the zone that we are going with this. So after crossing the dragon and finishing the cheese snack, our hero finally arrived at the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest. Oops. And so we're asking what happened at the nest. Yes. yes. And for reference, this is the nest that we are talking about. The Rat Queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, <laughs> I've heard the call from the West, travel through the Sky Mall Eagle's Nest, and pass the test. Then you will return to your home and finish your play. He has a gold armor. Maybe he like <laughs> trades, maybe he like sells the gold armor. Uh, we like, no, he's too cute. He's too cute. 
cute. Do we have, okay, since he's got his cheese knife, instead of a battle, do we have like a picnic? Oh, yeah. Like, do we make a little like charcuterie board with the eagles? Yes. Okay, chat, let me know what you think about that idea. Um, and someone's saying, you got this, Andrew? Yeah, we got this, chat, because we're in this camera too together. We're, we're doing this together. <laughs> There we go. We got this chat because we're doing it together here in Adobe Live where you get to work with me and other creatives just like you. There we go. That's the clip for the cut down. Wow. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> the eagle gall. Ooh, honestly. <gasps> the eagle gobble. An eagle would eat it. Hold on. That's kind of a fun idea. <laughs> Why? What, then what happens? Then he's inside the eagle, and there's like, and he goes on an adventure, like in the stomach okay. of the eagle. Is that Moby Dick? Yes. That's what happens. A hundred percent. Yes. No, Pinocchio. It's Pinocchio. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> okay. okay. The eagle so he arrived. Eats him. Um, he was suddenly swallowed whole uh, by <laughs> an epic breakdancing battle eagle um, in the stomach of an eagle traveling down to. The giant eagle's stomach, where he suddenly saw, what does he see in the stomach? Ooh. Uh, what do you want to see in the stomach here? Uh, yeah, let's do epic break dance battle. Okay. Uh, saw, what do we want dancing in there? Mice? Yes. This is fantastic. How are we going to generate this is uh, my question. It's, it's going to happen. We have five minutes to do it. Yep. So we're going to go to media. We're going to go to photos. And we might do this in a couple pieces. Okay. Uh, but we might not have to. So let's do um, uh, uh, mice breakdancing. In like a cave or something. In, yeah. Yeah. A cave made of meat. <laughs> This is, oh gosh! It, it might just look generate weird. it. Yeah. Let's just see. Um, uh, and let's do like disco lights. Okay. All right, chat. I apologize in advance for what this is about to make. The cave made of meat. Yeah. Okay. I'm not scared. Bad. I'm scared. Not bad. Okay. That There's one's cute. Two. That one's cute. Here's number three. And there's number four. I think it's number two, right? I hate them all, Andrew. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's let's do less meat. Yeah, no meat. Just yeah. a dark cave or something like that. Uh, let's do like a, I don't want it to look like rocky. So let's do maybe like wet cave, like it's just like rained. Because okay. I want it to look like kind of like yeah. stomachy. This is very magic school bus. Like this whole story is very magic school bus. Yeah, like what size is this? <laughs> This chinchilla. No. Uh, oh, the other ones were better. They were. Can you go back? Yeah, I can. Oh, actually, I don't think I can. Uh, uh, made of bacon. Let's try bacon and see if that helps. <laughs> like a more specific... Meat. Meat. <laughs> to just get, like, the right texture there. Ooh, stalactites and stalagmites. Ooh, more information. Okay. These are better. These are much better. These are much better. <laughs> that guy's iconic. That one's cute. That one's cute. Okay, we're going to keep this one. All right, we're keeping in there, and then guess what we're going to do? Uh, I'm going to go in. Oh, we're going to try to do this really fast Yeah, we got to go. <laughs> uh, let's do media. We're not going to record the voiceover. I'm just going to record some, like, audio. Here we go. Okay, those are... Oh, it's literally going to have me talking in the end. Okay, cool. That's fine. You can cut it shorter. I can, cu yeah. I can cut it shorter. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, those are... <laughs> <laughs> just slide it over. There we go. Yeah, we'll just slide it over just a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, and then from there, I do want to add in just one quick little video. We have like a minute left, and we're going to go disco lights. Bruce, those are the mice that lost the battle on the floor, I believe. Yes. Okay. Evacuate the dance floor. All right, here. <coughs> Sorry, I coughed toward you. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then again, we're going to change it to screen, and here we go. 
Okay. <laughs> What a blessing. It still has your okay. What a blessing. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so um, just to quick recap where we went today. We did a lot today, We chat. did do a lot. So we finished the water balloon fight in the ice castle, and then we got the goblet of nacho cheese fire here. Um, that once I'm going to talk over your part my voice twice, but I just want to show the animations the here. A golden goblet Pretty cool. Here. From there, we transformed suddenly into a chinchilla. Pretty cool. And then we went to the eagle's nest, which is the one that I'm actually going to let play because I want to hear those eagle noises Oh my again. gosh. The rat queen stood from her throne and walked down to our hero, telling them, I've heard the call from the west to travel through the Sky Mall eagle's nest and pass the test. Then you'll return to your home and finish your quest. Iconic. Too good. All right, let's throw the schedule slide and tell you what's coming up. There's a whole day of video content coming on. What's going on, Megan? Yeah, we have right after this, so stick around, um, a segment on what is new in Adobe Video. This will be hosted by Evan and Fabiola with lots of really good information. Following that session, we have um, a bunch of sessions that are really going to deep dive into the workflows that are new within video. So we have Roto Brush 3, text based editing, True 3D, and then of course we'll end the day with Andrew, office hours. That's it. So thanks for joining us. Stick around for the video streams coming up, and hopefully I'll see you for part five of Fill in the Blank a little bit later. Bye, everyone. Bye.